Now you can build custom forms that feed into PayPal so you can process credit card orders from visitors filling out your form. This is really useful for event registration, menu orders, or any form that requires a payment. When visitors use your form with PayPal payment, they will be able to pay with their credit card through PayPal. They'll be directed to your PayPal hosted payment page, where they'll simply enter their credit card details. After they do so, your PayPal account will be credited. When you're ready to get paid, simply withdraw the funds from your PayPal account and this will go directly into your bank account. To start with, you'll need to set up a PayPal account. All you do is register your email address with PayPal. People can then send you money using their credit card. To register, just go to paypal.com and click sign up. You'll either want to sign up with a premier or business account. If you're trading under a company name, you'll most likely want to sign up with a business account. Once you've signed up to PayPal, you're ready to start using the app. Firstly, enter the email address that you signed up to PayPal with and choose the country currency code that you want to use. NZ dollars is set by default. By entering a figure into the base price, you can essentially charge your visitors for filling out the form. This isn't to be confused with a minimum amount. This amount will be charged in addition to the optional fields that charge the customer. This is much the same as the Add Questions tab on the form builder. It's really simple. Just type in your question, select the answer type, if it's a required question, then tick the required box and click add question. Simple as that. Repeat the steps for as many questions as you like. Remember to click add question once you've completed each question. Choosing update before you click add question won't work. Just like the form builder, you've got several answer types to choose from. Text fields are small text boxes and text areas are big text boxes. With check box lists, enter each selection on a new line. With file uploads, your visitors are offered the option of uploading a file along with answering your questions. You've also got a date picker, which is extremely useful for forms that are for event registration. If you just want to make a description or statement in the form that doesn't have a related question, just choose no input. You can make some of the fields relate to dollar figures. One that you'll probably use is the radio button, select box, or check box list. With radio buttons and select boxes, your visitors can only make one selection per question. Just enter each selection on a new line. With check box lists, your visitors can select multiple selections per question. You can use these question types for both money and non-money questions. Basically, if you want to make the question about a dollar figure, just put the dollar figure into square brackets without the dollar symbol and put each option onto a new line. For example, if you'd like to explain that apples are $20 and oranges are $30, you'd probably set out your question like this. Square bracket 20 in square bracket and then $20 dash apples and then on the next line, square bracket 30 in square bracket, and then $30 dash oranges. In that example, because you've got 20 and 30 in square brackets respectively, that monetizes the line. Remember, the customer won't see what's in the square bracket, and because you want to mention how much each item costs, and what each item is, to the right hand side of the brackets you've also got the $20 dash apples, which is what the customer will actually see. If you get stuck, just follow the instructions at the bottom of the question. You can also make a text field into a money question by ticking the box that says, this field asks for a money amount. If you do so, ask a question that relates to the money figures. For example, in how much money would you like to pay me? As the question, make it a required question and tick the box, this field asks for a money amount. Your visitors will put a dollar figure into this field 
and when they submit the form, it will take them to a PayPal hosted payment page with the dollar amount already filled in. The edit tab is where you can change the order, edit existing questions or delete questions. To edit questions, click edit, then save changes. To remove the questions, simply click remove. And to change the order, just choose the up and down arrows next to the question you'd like to move up or down. Keep in mind, how the form visually looks is system generated, so you won't be able to change margins, customize field lengths, box styles and so on. The preview tab is just that, it simply allows you to preview your form. When you've made all of your updates, just click update, save your changes and your form will appear on your website. Here, you've got options that relate to your form and the payment process. Here you can customize the form name and button text, where you want your form results to get emailed, the automatic message that your visitors get from you after they purchase, enable capture to stop spam, and if you'd like to, redirect visitors to a certain page if a visitor either cancels a payment or completes a payment. These are all pretty self-explanatory, but do make sure that you tick the notify me by email box and ensure that your email address is entered in. It's also a good idea to tick the send confirmation email box. Simply put, you can populate the email with the visitor's own cardholder name, total amount and currency. If these details are kept in square brackets, the visitor's data will appear in the email. If you'd like to set up special redirect pages, first just create the pages and then manage the redirections by ticking the boxes and selecting the pages. You can view the results of the form submissions from those who have completed your form by going to the dashboard and clicking Forms with PayPal. You can view your responses by clicking the View Responses or go directly to the form so you can edit it by clicking Open Page.